Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Intate version of FSR 4 Upscaler in conjunction with OptiScaler XCSS or FSR Frame Generation in God of War. I'll test the game on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. With XCSS Frame Generation, XCSS Low Latency Mode will work and with FSR Frame Generation, Anti-Lag 2 will work. The game officially supports DLSS and FSR 3.1 Frame Generation. NVIDIA Reflex support is present but no support for anti-lag 2. As the game supports DLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.4, I'll simply use OptiScaler's DLSS GY Streamline as the frame generation source for enabling XCSS and FSR frame generation techniques. This way, we won't be required to deal with hard fix. Enabling mod XCSS frame generation will cause some frame pacing issue. This problem can be fixed by simply enabling pacing from OptiScaler mod menu. This is not required for FSR frame generation. I was not able to get OptiScaler frame generation working in this game with the latest preview 4 version 0.9 build but it worked fine with the previous preview 3 version 0.9 build 2025091 available on OptiScaler discord server will give its link in the description just click on the dot sms link here FSR SDK was leaked a month ago it included files corresponding to intake version of FSR 4 OptiScaler these files could be compiled into an FSR 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the DLL file with the community. Click on this go file link here. This page will open up. From here, just download AMD Fidel DFX Subscaler TX12.dll file. Click on download. Download will start. Now I'll show you the mod setup process. Open OptiScaler Mods archive file. Just select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini, optiscaler.dll, libxcss underscore fg.dll. This is xcss frame chain file. DX land version of xcss super resolution not required. libxcss.dll, xcss super resolution file. libxcll.dll, xcss low latency mode file. Fake nvapi.ini, fake nvapi.dll. Fake nvapi will replace the in game reflex implementation with. XCSS low latency mode or anti lag 2. Nukem 9's mod not required. Vulcan version of Reality FX file not required. Select all of the TS12 versions of Reality FX files. Right click, copy, 10 files selected. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste everything here. Replace. Just need to change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Select the file, rename, type txgi. Now I'll install the intake version of FSR for upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler dx12.dll file that you downloaded from Reddit. Need to paste it in the game's install directory. Replace the existing file. That's it. Adrenaline settings for the game. Enable freezing from here. Vsync disable. We need to enable vsync from OptiScaler mod menu. Otherwise, some frame pacing issues will occur when you enable XCSS frame generation. For this game, I've set the UMF buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install Ally's latest official GPU driver that I had support for Battlefield 6 using a 27W manual profile or 3 power value set at 27W. Drop the resolution to 720p. CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vita 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. I'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance metrics. Open RTSS, click on Setup, scroll down to the end, and make sure enable frame rate limiter and Inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Enable use Microsoft T2's API hooking setting. Graphic settings. Name of the GPU RTX 4090. This means OptiScaler's TXGI spoofing feature is working. In this game, when you set the display mode to full screen, the game's display does not fill the complete display of ROG Ally. You can see a gap along the top and right edges of the display. Vsync is off. FPS cap applied. Reflex on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. 
upscale set to TLSS using its quality preset. Shadow settings set to low, rest of the settings set to medium, film gain and motion plus settings off. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key, increase its size, click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale, set the value to 1.2. Okay. XCSS upscaler is selected by default version 2.0.2 input in game TLSS upscaler. TXJS spoofing is on. Auto export setting is on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. Base resolution 848 by 472 pixels upscale to 720p resolution. Save and I close. I am in throttle fine. For some reason this area is very heavy on the GPU. FPS in this area is all over the place as you can see. Ranging from 35 to 50. This cave area is very heavy. 33 FPS. You can see how choppy the animation quality is looking. And good for gauging the smoothing effect of either frame generation technique. Image quality, yeah it's looking a bit blurry. Go back to the starting point. Shadow of Kratos is not flickering. Haven't enabled frame generation yet. I'll switch to FSR for upscaler. Open the mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on change upscaler again. Click on the drop down bar next to FFX upscaler and make sure FSR 4.0.2 is selected. This is the intake version of FSR for upscaler. Models default selected, it automatically selected the following model 0. It corresponds to FSR anti lazing native resolution ultra quality preset, but I am using the quality preset of in game DLSS upscaler. Still, with this model, I didn't observe any noticeable graphical artifacts. Manually changing the model from OptiScaler mod did not work in this game for some reason. I'll stick with these settings. Resume the game, the yeah, FPS dropped to around 46 with XCSS version 2 upscaler here you are getting close to 50 FPS 3 to 4 FPS less than XCSS upscaler Staring at the cave, yeah, here we are getting around 32 FPS with XCSS I think FPS was around 33-34 So not a big loss in performance after switching from XCSS version 2 upscaler to FSR 4 Image quality, it's looking much sharper now All thanks to FSR 4 Now I'll show you how to enable FSR frame generation Open OptiScaler mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select TLSS GY Streamline as the option Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option Save and I close, restart the game. Play. Now you just need to enable the end game. TLSS frame generation setting. Frame gen. Set it to NVIDIA TLSS FG. Rest of the settings they are left as they are. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Change the position of OptiScaler's performance overlay. Bottom right. Check the setting active under frame generation FSR FG. Don't enable allow async setting otherwise the game will crash. Don't need to deal with hard fix. Current method mentioned the frame rate section anti lag 2. I'll show you FSR frame gen debug view. Check the setting debug view. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games interface it won't flicker with FSR frame gen enabled. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Disable deeper view. Show detected UI. Oh, it works even for FSR frame gen. Games UI highlighted pink in color. I'll just enable anti lags latency monitor. Press its hotkey combo Alt Shift and L. Keep pressing the hotkey combo to cycle through the different display options. 
FPS increased to around 75 with FSR frame gen 75 to 77 latency value 44 milliseconds depends on the base FPS higher the base FPS lower the latency check out the real world input delay not bad now I'll just highlight FSR frame generation related artifact observe our shadow I'll sprint yeah it's flickering common FSR frame generation related artifact must have seen it in other games as well XCSS frame generation does not produce this artifact jump across staring at the game the FPS dropped to around 55 spin the camera FSR frame generation does a good job of smoothing out the janky performance now I'll switch to XCSS frame gen open optiscalar mod menu using the same frame generation source TLSSG via streamline click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option I'll just change the position of optiscalar's performance overlay top left click on save INI close restart the game again make sure in game DLSS subscaler and DLSS frame generation settings are enabled once the game loads up just open optiscalar mod check the setting active under frame generation XCFG this will enable XCSS frame gen frame pacing graph will become thick like this but some frame pacing issues will occur in order to fix these frame pacing issues you need to enable vsync from optiscalar mod menu just expand vsync settings and check the setting vsync on show you the deeper view yeah these purple sidebars will appear if XCSS frame gen is working they are flickering uncheck debug view check show detected UI setting games hot element should be highlighted pink in color all good and use XCSS inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features just minimize the game run inspector app from this list select God of War Ragnarok double click XCSS low latency mode it's working valid frames getting generated game got paused this disable frame generation on quickly show you inspect app XSS frame generation context it was running for a brief moment start working when the game got paused back to the game yeah FPS is around 70 with FSR frame generation here we were getting around 75 FPS XCSS frame gen is slightly heavier than FSR frame gen. Latency is not a problem, all thanks to XCSS low latency mode. Just observe a shadow, does not flicker when I sprint around. This artifact is fixed. Show you some combat. First, I'll stare at this cave. The yeah, FPS dropped to around 52 with FSR frame gen heavy we are getting close to 54 FPS smoothing effect good results produced by CSS frame gen I'll quickly clear this area spam my abilities FPS is all over the place 52 to 70 is insane other areas in this game are less demanding than swaddle fine will be getting better performance animation quality looks smooth even when the fps is close to 52 that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day